because at those at that level of consciousness you did something and your higher self is okay with it because you're not developed enough but then when you're more developed then if you do the same thing it's not acceptable anymore and you may get some sort of repercussion something happens they come back at you and you may perceive it like it's a punishment but it's not really punishment but you may get a slap on your hand because they come back and tell you no you're too conscious too aware to do a sleepy thing to have this unconscious behavior five years ago we let you get away because you weren't ready but now you're too developed for that so now we're going to awaken you we're going to give you a little slap on your hand so you wake up to it so now I, so that changes too so your communication channels getting stronger and stronger and you're getting more expanded and you can hear the voice telling you what to do and in that process the trust gets stronger you begin to trust yourself life more because you are aware of a communication now for many of us before we get to that point before you you rise to the place that you are like a like a tree you know when you're planting a tree and it's a baby it's a little plant you have to put a fence around it and you have to tie it with some strings so if there is a storm it doesn't break the tree if there is animals walking around they don't walk over the tree and they don't break it so you protect it but as the, this little tree gets bigger and bigger and gets more established in the planet in, in the earth and it's really rooted that's a strong tree it doesn't need those protections anymore so same thing happens with us as you're developing to certain point you need we need an other teacher we need the guru we need the the teacher to communicate with you to tell you things you need to know because you haven't developed the language and the communication skills to be able to get the messages from your inner guru your inner guru is always there and the real guru is within yourself it's always within yourself but until the point that you get to this place to realize that the guru is within and the guru is always talking to you until then and to develop the skills of understanding the language we need to hear it from the other world and naturally we're seeking for a spiritual teacher in the other world but if the true spiritual teacher will keep sending you inside will force you to go inside yourself to discover it within yourself that's the quality of a true spiritual teacher so as you're developing in this process now development in this process some people may develop in 20 30 years some people may take them a lifetime to develop we never know you may come to this understanding at the end of your life you may come to this understanding in the last 10 15 years of your life and you tell yourself wow i wish i knew this earlier you may come to this understanding in early ages 
as we can see in new generations that there's a lot of awakened children and very open and they know a lot of things that it took me years to come to it doesn't whatever it's like different flowers and different plants and they're all going to bloom and get ripe different fruits they get ripe in their own timing there's no you can't speed it up but the fact that we're here together and we're hearing these words and we're understanding these words that shows that you have arrived at a stage of maturity spiritual maturity that you understand this you hear it you understand it so back to what we were talking about is because we were talking about not being attached to the results if i'm not attached to the results of an in investing into something then i cannot suffer so now i go i go back what i'm talking about is that you start paying attention to your heart you begin to hear that your inner guru your sat guru is speaking to you and is telling you go this direction do this don't do that sometimes it may not be so clear but slowly slowly you develop that and then you're invested in a situation again i use this example of of wanting to marry somebody and you're really invested in this relationship and in the, in the last moment the person says i don't want to marry you or i realize i don't love you and and you get rejected and naturally you are a bit disappointed or heartbroken but you have developed within yourself that you have learned not to be really attached to the results so you didn't get the results you want and now you are like i trust existence and i trust the spirit that this was not meant to be for me and there must be something a better thing that is going to happen in my life so because you start to develop this relationship with yourself that you can get the messages and you're trusting it you're trusting your inner voice you're trusting the self you're trusting life that life knows what it's doing and in the meantime you may be experiencing um you get challenged different challenges happen every day and it pushes you to come back into the place of trust 